that'll be easy. So, real quick, usually we don't start vlogging until after the work day is over. My work day really never ends, but normally until Madison's work day is over, we don't start vlogging. But really quickly, I wanted to show you our new little advent calendar, and I wanted to pull something out of it because I don't have any plans for what we're gonna vlog today, except that I think we are gonna go to the grocery store. Madison says yes. I'm in the gym. Oh, I'm not going to the gym. I feel like a fatty. <laughs> I've opted out of the gym, unfortunately, for the last month of the year because I just have so much to get done, but plan on going back starting in January. That is the plan. Anyway, so Megan told me that on um, one end of the advent calendar is stuff that's more geared to, to be done closer towards the new year, and the other end is geared more towards like right now in Vlogmas. So uh, we have to pick one and then we'll see what it says and decide if it's, you know, doable Easable. or not. Yeah, so I'm gonna have Madison read it. Okay, okay. I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, here you go. Drum roll. <laughs> Not this one. I think we started the wrong side. What does it say? Well, it says 2019 sign off. What's in store for 2020? Damn. Okay. <laughs> well, now we know which end is what. Let me put this one back. Will you go pick one from over there while I put this one back? Also, we know what we're going to get on the last day now. All right, what do you got? Uh, let's decorate. Low zero waste holiday decoration. Okay. Well, we already have done some, but I actually have ideas to do more. There you go. So we can do that. Um, but right now we're going to finish working. Both of us still have a couple more hours of planned work to do. And then we'll meet you, meet back up with you guys probably once it's dark um, to do this. Cool also, stuff. yeah, Madison's got to go finish working. Say bye to Madison. Bye to Madison. Okay. I meant them. Say bye to you. Bye. You dork. Okay. Um, but I just got my email to renew my Imperfect Produce box. And last week, it gets kind of complicated when we travel a lot because I can't get an Imperfect Produce box. Um, because if we're not here on Friday, then I'm not here to put it in the fridge um, or, you know, just bring it inside in general. And things can go bad. So whenever we're out of town, I can't order one. So I didn't get to get one this week, which is why we have to go grocery shopping. Uh, which generally leads to more waste because it's not coming from like a planned source without waste. We're just going to go to HEB. So I just thought I would take you along the process of how I get my Imperfect Produce boxes. If you guys haven't heard me talk about them before, it's basically the service we use to get groceries. Used to it was just produce, but they recently started having other sort of foods that were like overstocked or that like are getting thrown away that are not just produce. So now it's more than just that. Basically this is stuff that farmers can't sell or grocers can't sell that would otherwise be thrown out. They put them in these boxes and then we can buy them. And you can customize your box. I think a lot of people think that they're just gonna send you random whatever they have, but it's not. You can pick exactly what you want and what you don't want, and then you can um, have the box be as big or as small as you want. So let me turn you around and show you what we're getting. I get this email on the weeks where we are gonna order, and it tells me to customize my box, and then I come here. And it auto-populates some stuff for you, but you can just take off whatever you don't want and go back in. And what I always do is I always go into the filter and filter by imperfect because they have some things that are, like, I don't know what the other things are, how they get here, but if you always pick imperfect, it means that those are things that were going to go to waste. So I always pick imperfect, and then I start scrolling. Oh, also, what's really cool is you can click more info and find out why it was imperfect. So, let's see. This guy says, imperfect pick. Restaurant chains around the country require salmon fillets to be the same precise size and shape. This results in high-quality salmon being undervalued simply because it doesn't meet strict specifications. We partnered with this company for the undervalued pieces, um, allowing it to be utilized the entire fish and bringing you a great value item. So yeah, this is like the part um, that otherwise I guess would be thrown out. And I've been thinking about making Tippy some treats, so I think I might add this, but let's see what else they have before I do that. I also sometimes like to just like take everything out of here so that I can start from scratch. Uh, but these things look good. Like all this, well we don't need any avocados. And we usually get mangoes, but I, I, right now, I feel like they wouldn't be much good. Grapefruits, oh my god, please give me more. <clears throat> I 
they're in season right now. And summer squash, yeah, we don't need that. So I'll leave these things and then just scroll through here and see what else is good. Broccoli, one is probably okay. Cherry tomatoes, I love cherry tomatoes. Do we need some right now? Probably not. So yeah, short-coated, that's why these ended up in here. I just think this is such a cool, I love Imperfect Produce so much. I also have like a code that they gave me a long time ago and it still works. Oh, I am zoomed in. Hello, let's zoom out. I have a code that they gave me a long time ago when I did one partnership with them like over a year ago, but I've been using them ever since. I just think the like the simplicity of ordering this stuff is so easy. It's a great way to reduce your waste and to like support a company like this. So I love Imperfect Produce. I have a discount code. I cannot for the life of me right now remember what the discount is. It might be $10 off your first box. I don't know. I'll leave it linked in the description if I can remember. If I forget, remind me. <clears throat> but... I'm going to go through here, order our groceries. You'll see it when I get it on Friday because we are vlogging every single day. And also, I'll catch up with you when Madison's done at the gym so we can go grocery shopping. And Tippy is looking out my window right now. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You're the cutest little dude. I love you. I love you so much. Yes, I do. I love you. This is... <laughs> you guys don't want to know what this is. But this is a plastic bag that my sister got. And I reuse it because I... I don't pull my hair out, but my hair falls out, and I keep it in here. Wow. That was, was that too much? I shouldn't have told you that, but that's what it is. Hey. Why are you looking at the window anymore? Hey. Hey. Don't ignore me. So since our task today from the advent calendar was to create... Um, what do you call it? More decorations. I think we're gonna go ahead and start using the mason jars on there I've been hinting at you guys about so some of these I thrifted some of them I got from my mom actually my mom had some just laying around from when she used to can stuff So I got those two from her and I have had that one for a long time And then I found these two at the thrift store the other day, which was such a score These are the really like big ones and I've never seen them at a store when I saw these two together I was like yes, I had to try to get their little Goodwill sticker off, but aren't they perfect? So my idea for these are to put snow pine cones in here, and uh, you'll see how we're gonna do that coming up in this vlog. But first things first, gotta find pine cones, right? So that's our mission right now. What up? What up? What up, Mattle bees? All right, so we are I just turned light off, so it got super dark, but we are headed to find a pine tree, and we're gonna be taking the car today because. We don't have much daylight. It gets dark a lot faster. So that's what we're doing right now is head to find a pine tree. So we can get some pine cones for our decorations. They're on to us. There they are. Look at DM. It's like a safari. Bye girls. back from grocery shopping and I look a little dark we're going to get busy making the snowy pine cones that is the DIY decoration of today so what you'll need is some pine cones is that you harvested you'll also need uh, to make a DIY glue recipe so we're working on that right now Madison is measuring out some of the ingredients that we need and then you also need some Epsom salt <clears throat> which you can find in many places oh it smells so good and I was nervous that it wasn't going to be quite shiny enough, but looking at it in here, it's a little shiny. So the goal is to put the glue on the pine cones and then cover the pine cones in the Epsom salt. And then they'll look like snowy, glittery pine cones without any plastic, like plastic glitter. And then we'll put them into these jars here to make them kind of look a little bit more uniform and cutesy. So I hope that that might be the last addition to the mantle, but I did want to give you guys quite a few examples of DIY, like eco-friendly Christmas decor. So this is the last one. Are you excited to see how it turns out, babe? I am. I'm excited. I've been waiting all day for this moment. Just a disclaimer, we've never made any of these before. We've never done this before. I always like to try new things and uh, I don't really have any favorites. I just like to try 
doing things different. So vlogmas will be a lot of that, a lot of experimenting. But we're gonna get started on the glue. I'll link the recipe we're following below and then maybe you could try it too if you want. First step, pour this in and whisk it continuously. Now you're supposed to whisk it, whisk it <laughs> and don't stop, okay? Now you gotta mix it all together and I'm gonna get the next ingredient prepared, which I think is sugar. Sugar going in. Watch out. Woo Keep mixing it, Seth. Don't stop. Alright, next is vinegar. Baking soda going in. Oh shit. It just turned fucking white. It's gonna start bubbling. Is this a big enough pot? Yes. Hell no, it's not! Oh. Uh oh. Why is it doing that? This oh. is the tippy top. Oh, okay, let's get a bigger pot. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this bitch is gonna blow. Blow. This bitch is about to blow. Put it in this one. Hurry, hurry, so I can put the other part in. Okay, keep mixing because I have to put the other part of the baking soda in. We're not supposed to stop mixing, it says. Here, take this. <laughs> I made a little bit of a mess, guys, trying to hurry up and get that pot. Well, that's the last ingredient. Now we just keep mixing it until it turns into glue. What do you think? Does it look like glue? He's <laughs> skeptical. Know, yeah, look at it. Well, I think it's because you have to turn off the heat and then it's supposed to get thicker. So let's see what happens now. I glue you and me, baby. Wait. Whoa. I don't know if we're stuck like glue with this. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm hoping it's just like because of the heat. Well, let it sit. I followed the recipe exactly. I mean, it was a little bit weird because we had to convert some measurements because it was like in grams and liters and we we're using cups and that sort of thing, but it should have been pretty close. Like it, I don't know, I'm worried. All right guys, we're gonna put one of the pine cones in the glue, test the smaller one. Yeah, this little front one. Okay, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So we put the Epsom salt in here, like I said. So we're just gonna dip them in the glue, dip them in the Epsom salt, put them on this piece of cardboard we got from Topo Chico. Let's do it. Pool full of liquor, then we dive in it. That was very uneventful. <clears throat> Do the whole thing, babe. Christmas. Hey, easy. Don't be chipping it off in there. Okay, that's probably good. Okay. Two of that, some salt. Roll them around. I mean, it might have worked well enough for what we're using it for, right? Mm -hmm. As long as it solidifies and doesn't stay watery. I think it'll be fine. Should that we was a good trial. Give it some time. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Oh, it does look like a little cute little snowy pine cone. Do you like it? Madison really didn't know what we were doing when we went into today, to today's vlog, by the way, guys. <laughs> She's just going with it. Yeah, it looks cool. You like the idea? Yep. You gonna do another one? Let's do a bigger one now. No, 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 no. Oh. I mean, that one's fine. That's a boo-boo looking one. Let's do this Why is that funny? You're funny. <clears throat> I 
Look at that sugar booty. It's not sugar, babe. I know, it's Epsom salt, but it looks like sugar. Dust his booty. Can't have sugar ants be getting our little Christmas decorations then. Oh, how cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Do, 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 do. People are making all kinds of concoctions that are weird on their stove. <laughs> They're dipping pine cones and Epsom salt this time of the year. Okay, babe. Go. Oh. I don't know why it's so watery. This was definitely not what the tutorial said it was gonna be. It's like a little soup. Damn it, I'm kind of upset. Well, Still working well. We'll only know that once it dries and if the Epsom salt sticks then. Right? Mm hmm It's like taking them to a little sauna. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. See, it works good like that. Sure. You're gentle. I always am. Mm. Ready? It is not quite as easy as it looks. Cute! <clears throat> no? Guys, so here's an update. We just finished a couple of them and we're letting them sit on the cardboard to see what ends up happening to them. And some of them are melting, or at least that's what it looks like. So we, Shelby was saying that, you know, she was looking at a recipe where she was having to convert from grams to cups and liters to cups. Um, and we don't use that system, so I don't know if we exactly put all the right ingredients together, but here we are with our four little test subjects. So I'm not really sure why, but you know, it kind of looks like it's melting a little bit. Still looks super cute, but yeah, it definitely looks like Olaf. From frozen this one actually looks pretty good but yeah like why is it sitting in a puddle I mean and see what happens I'm not really sure if we can tweak the recipe at this point or if <laughs> we make just make a whole nother batch but I mean we'll see guys it is 11 <laughs> 11:36 so on a school night, school. so maybe not today, but you know, stay tuned. We still have plenty of pine cones, so we still have all these left to play around with because, <laughs> yeah, like it's like crying, it's emotional, it's very sad right now. Oh, so that is the update on how things are going well, so far. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and give up for tonight, guys. It's just not working out. It's 11.50 now at this point, and I'm fading quickly. It's 11.50 at this point, and the glue is just not even glue. It's very liquidy. So we're gonna get rid of it. Shelby wants me to pour it down the sink. But after it's our rice, water. but after our rice fiasco, I'm not pouring that down the sink. No way, no way. So uh, I'm gonna figure out how to dispose of it, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So uh, 
we will catch you all on tomorrow's episode. Until then, we will catch you later, Metal Beast.